my name is Colleen Tauke and I'm the sewing specialist at Fonts and Porter. In this Quilt and Quickly tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put together the block for four corner, four patch. So if you'd like to purchase this pattern, you can visit our website for that information. It is made from a wonderful selection of two and a half inch batiks and a light batik background. Now, when you're working with pre-cuts, some of them come all rolled up beautifully but they're also a little bit linty. So if you were, this is my tip for watching the video, is you take a lint roller and roll across the edges before you even open up your packet. A lot of times these are rolled with a ribbon or if they're um, packaged in plastic, take it out. And you can see right away that quite a bit of lint comes off of the edges and still keep your um, sewing space neat and tidy. So if you do that step first. Just my little tip for, for you that are watching the videos. Then we're going to be using these strips with this wonderful background to create this four corner four patch like this. So we're going to be making, taking each of the, the print batiks and matching it up with our light background. Now you want to follow your, follow your instructions for the width of the strips. I've got half length strips here just because I'm working in a smaller space, but you're going to be working with the entire width of the pre-cut two and a half inch. So make your strip sets by joining those two together. You'll have a strip set that looks like this one. And then you're going to be cutting it into three and a half inch, I believe, lengths that look like this. I guess if we have it laid out in the same manner so that you're going to be working your way down your strip set, cutting lengths. Now if I were wanting to cut, say, two pieces at once since I've got a ruler here that goes up to at least eight inches wide. Three and a half times two is seven. So if I wanted to cut two of them at once, make sure I've got at least seven inches worth here. So then I can cut a segment, flip it around, cut that double wide segment, and then cut it in half. There are many ways for cutting and speed cutting that you'll find as your uh, quilting skills build, but here we have two segments and we would cut then two more. We always want to have, you're going to be cutting a, a total of 12 from each of your strip sets. That would be enough for three blocks. So you're going to be, then keep those in sets of four together so that you can come in and make your four patch, or four corners four patch. You're going to be joining two together the match and then the other two. I'm going to be, I'm pressing here so that the seam allowances would be going um, toward least resistance. There's a seam on this piece so I would press them toward that bar. And you can see that I, by arranging them according to the um, instructions for our, in our diagrams, the light is out, outside here on the corners. Join your row together and you have your four corners for patch. And then you're going to be making multiples of those. You're going to get really good at this process. When four blocks come together, it's kind of a secondary design of a kind of a spinning pinwheel kind of shape here in the center. And you're going to make all of your blocks and finish it with red binding and you've created your own version of four patch, our four corners four patch. For more of our video tutorials, visit our website. Thanks for joining me today.